Uh, Billy Crystal and Marissa Tomei play a father and daughter with completely unrelated parenting styles in the new comedy Parental Guidance, which opens tomorrow. A few days ago, they spoke with Charlie and Gail about the film, which was, as they say, inspired by actual events. The best thing about this movie is where the idea came from. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I'm a grandfather of three and two thirds. We have a yeah. new one coming in March. And we had the older girls for six days, yeah. all alone, for the first time. Was it hard? Well, let's just put it this way. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is you and your wife for 43 years. Yes, and on, and on the seventh day, I rested. rested. <laughs> and, uh, I came in and said, I got an idea for moving started writing the story, and here we are five and a half years later, and we got it done. Well, apparently you did okay, because now we have a movie to thank you for. Yeah. But, Marissa, let me talk to you for just a second, because when I saw the movie, mm -hmm. and I see a lot of movies, I thought this is probably the only one that you can take the whole family to on Christmas Absolutely. Day. Absolutely. Yeah. You play father and daughter. Yes, yes, we do, and and it, I think it is the only the only I film do. that you can take I'm, yeah. all, all I'm the, ages. I'm not the movie's not publicist, but I, I do believe. <laughs> well, you are now. And, then, <laughs> and there's nothing like embarrassing or creepy. Sometimes I'm sitting there with other members of my family. I don't want to be watching this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, did you cast this? Sir? Yeah. Well, with yeah, you know with Andy Fickle, so her and, and Bette Midler. Well, and, and, well, Bette. Yes. You know, uh, Bette was. Um, a, I just was just sent from heaven. I mean, mm -hmm. it was just like we, people assume <laughs> that we've worked God together a lot. Yeah. I, I and, thought and, that too. But you know, we, uh, I thought that too. Andy and I, when we knew we were making a movie, when we got the go ahead from Fox, it was like, well, who? And we went, bet. Yeah. So we called her, had a dinner meeting the next night, and we were married from the time she sat down. <laughs> she ate off my plate. She, she, she drove home. She corrected you. <laughs> you went to sleep. And then, yeah. and then um, Marissa had come to meet me and audition for me in 1991 yeah. to play my wife in Mr. Saturday Night. No. And she gave a fantastic reading, and she just was a little too young for what I thought what the part needed. What you had in mind, yeah. And I called her agent, and I said, she's not going to get the part, but she's phenomenal. She's, she's a great actress. She's so cute. She's so be <laughs> yeah. she's beautiful. She's everything. Yeah. yeah. So then when we said, who could play Alice, we went, Marissa. So, so she comes into the same office that she auditioned for oh, me, my gosh. and yeah, and she yeah. said, she said, now. Yeah, I said, well, now am I too old? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, it, and it just it works okay. great, and, you know. And, and yeah. we're, our scenes together are charged with real father-daughter stuff. No, you feel that, Miss Oscar winner, Marissa to me, because I still remember you from my cousin Benny. What was that iconic line? <laughs> my biological my, clock. Yeah, my biological <laughs> clock is ticking. So you know how to do comedy, you know how to do drama. Is one harder for you than the other? Or do you enjoy one more than the other? I like doing other? comedies. Do. And especially, I had the greatest time on oh, this bet. film. I loved being with these guys, and and it, it also, it affirmed for me, this is what I want to do. I just, I want to do comedies, comedies, comedies. But, you know, sometimes... <laughs> Why did it take five years to get it made between the time you walked in and said, I have a brilliant idea? <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> you are Billy Crystal. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, yes. but you reach a certain age yeah. where they don't trust you like they used to. Yeah. And, and it's oh. like, do we really want to make a movie about grandparents? Or is there an audience for it? I want, there are 77 million people our age <laughs> yes. waiting for a movie for that. But it's that. not even. It's about yeah. families, and it's about fathers and daughters. It's not yes. just about grandparents at all. What is it that you know that most people don't know about how to host the Oscars? Oh, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, but you do it, and they keep coming back to you. Well, I, I've, you know, I work really hard when we've done the show, and I like being up there. I think that's the most important yeah, thing. You is, is you've you got to want to be up there, and yeah. a lot of preparation. It's a, the world is a rough room. <laughs> the world is a very rough room. <laughs> and so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, know that the first like five it. or six rows, everyone's nominated and nervous, They're nervous and in that. uncomfortable clothes. Yeah. It's uh, you get the lights on, which I don't like as a comedian. <laughs> Cameras roaming, th roaming through, yeah. shooting reaction shots. You got everything working against you as a performer. But I, I, we get very well prepared and. Yeah, preparation yeah. makes a difference, doesn't it? Sure it does. And no matter sure who does. you are, guys, you still really want to win. Don't you, Marissa? Yeah. You're sitting there and they list the names of the categories and you hear your name and you, no matter who you are, you still want to win the Oscar. Well, I, honestly, I think the best performances are by those who don't win really? and they're on, <laughs> and they're on camera, yeah. applauding the one who did win. Isn't that great? I love us. 
I'm so glad I lost. I'm so glad it's her who I really hate a lot. That she yeah. won. I would have killed kill that role. Right now. Yeah. Seth MacFarlane's doing it this year. Advice yeah. for him? Uh, wear comfortable shoes yeah. and, uh, and, and have a good time, really. And he's a very smart guy. Yeah. yeah. And he's yeah. very funny. He's been and, here. And, yeah. yeah. And uh, I think he'll do a good job. You know, parental guidance seemed, Marissa, to have a lot of improv. improv Say the word for me. Improv Improvisation. Improvisation. Improvisation, that's the word. <laughs> when I was watching it, because the dialogue flowed so da 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 da, I thought they have to be making this up on the fly. Were you? Billy did a, Billy ad libbed a, a bunch, especially with the baseball stuff. Yeah, the, all the baseball stuff in the booth. Mm -hmm. I but play he, a minor yeah, league baseball else. announcer for those of you at home who yeah. no, haven't seen it yet. And, and for those of you at home <laughs> who don't know, he loved baseball. Yeah. One of my things. <laughs> did you throw out a first pitch and, and go get some special training to do that? Um, I have thrown out the first pitches. I've also, I actually played for the Yankees. Uh, one day. One, one day. Hit, one hey, bat. one day, Charlie, one yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. Did but you play for them? One no, day. No, 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 but you, you took a couple of strikes and then, yeah. and then you fouled one off. I fouled you, one off. Yeah. And, and then you struck out. Yeah. But hey, I was 59 years old. <laughs> well, that's, that's young. Yeah. But I hit, I actually so, fouled a 90 mile an hour fastball down the right field line. And somebody yelled, so, felt great. Somebody yelled, <laughs> double. <laughs> And I was I'll petrified because if I, if I ran to second, I'd have to stop twice to pee. You know? <laughs> nice to see you guys. Thank you very much. Man, this was fun.